Yeah, I'm not gonna hide it. I got a bit of a diecast issue. One that's bigger than Kamikaze games. So what do I not so what do I now another day later and I got three more boxes in for diecast because I actually like I said I did you know, got a few quite a number of diecasts. Trying to get a pretty decent collection going right now. So yeah, I got three boxes here, two small ones, and then a giant big one here. So we're gonna go, of course, start with the little ones first, and then we're gonna go with the big one here. So yeah, three boxes to go through. Let me just get this one over here. And yeah, got the screwdriver in hand. Let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. So there's one slice here. And another slice there. And one slice here. For another slice down there. And all the way down here. I'm going to slice all the way down there. So yeah, let's open it up. And oh my. We got some more styrofoam packing peanuts in this bit, in this bitch. And oh my god, it's actually about to go over the floor. Hopefully I can get that garbage bag out and put all the ones I put from the other night in there. Okay, yeah, let's clear through it and get it out. Yep. Here we go. Oh my, yep, there it is. I think you know which one this is. Yep, let me just figure out. Oh, it opens like that. Oh, it's that kind of opening. Damn. So, yeah. Anyway, let's open her up. So. And, oh, the cloth just comes right off. So yeah, this one we got here, of course, the first diecast we got here, we have the Jeff Gordon 2002 Talladega Spring Race Wind diecast. Of course, got a few tire marks on there, so there's a little kind of damage or paint scrapes to it and a couple little race paint scrapes on the back here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And of course, tire marks everywhere. Surprisingly, we don't see any dents there because this Talladega race, it was the race where he beat Dale Jr., and the race ended in a caution, ending DEI's winning streak of consecutive wins at Talladega, ending that streak. And of course, this happened in Talladega and Dale Jr. country in a time where it was very prime to hate Jeff Gordon when he won all the time. And of course, when Jeff beat Dale Jr. at Talladega, the fans threw beer cans at him throughout that burnout and coming to the checkered flag. I mean, I always liked Dale Jr. as a driver, but I really couldn't stand a lot of Jr.'s fans, you know. A lot of Jr.'s fans could get bad at times, but, you know, I understand if they want to call it passionate some, but, yeah, sometimes the passion crosses a line or two. But, yeah. Anyway, yeah, pretty cool car to have to the collection, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, this was a big win for Jeff Gordon in his career, not only any DEI's run there. But also start pretty much Henrik Motorsports dominance at the plate tracks. So yeah, pretty cool here. Thought I'd get this Talladega one in. So yeah, that's diecast number one. Now we got diecast number two right here. So of course, like the same box, but yep, yeah, screwdriver. Let's open her up and take a look. So slice one, slice two, slice three. Slice four, then one more slice at the bottom right there. But anyway, let's open it up. And yep, we got more styrofoam packing peanuts. Oh, here we go. This is a good one here. There we go, and yeah, there's one more styrofoam packing peanut over here on this box. But I don't know, I'll put that to the side while I move that off. So yeah, here we go. And of course, this is actually a Gen 5 one. I think I, the only Gen 5 diecast I have is the Jimmy Johnson 2009 championship one. But yeah, that's a pretty cool one. And oh shit, they actually dropped a lot of cards here. So right here, of course, this is actually the win from Jeff Gordon and Phoenix in the spring. In the spring. 
here. So yeah, we got, of course, these um, action cards here. So I don't really want need these, so I'll throw them in the trash. And of course, um, this is, of course, um, the race where Jeff Gordon tied Dale Sr. So of course, here's the card about everything on it here. Put it to the side. And they actually, and they actually just said they actually have a cloth in here for the car. I guess, I guess it's to wipe it off to get any like grimy fingerprints off it. And some cars can be like a fingerprint magnet. So yeah, I think that was actually pretty cool that they set a flaw cloth for it. But anyway, let's open her up. Oh, here we go. And of course, the Gen Five. So we have the 2007. Phoenix race win. This is actually the first. So yeah, we got a Celsa Gen 5 Jeff Gorn race win car. And there's confetti on it. Yay! I like confetti cars. So yeah, really good car. And of course, some this come kiss came, of course, when Jeff Gorn tied Dale Sr. on the all-time wins list. It was a big deal for Jeff Gordon. Since Dale Sr. was always one of Jeff Gorn's biggest rivals in NASCAR. And yeah, and of course, Dale and Jeff had a pretty good friendship too. And of course, I'm with Jeff Gore when Dale Sr. passed away after the 2001 Daytona 500. Jeff really took that bad, not that good. But yeah, and of course, um, there is a little paint scrape damage on it here from the tire mark here from the race. So a little race damage here, but yeah, still nice looking car. Like I said, I've always liked the Jeff Gore and Flame cars. So yeah, really cool here. Maybe someday someone will do a Darlington throwback to these kind of cars. To the DuPont, to the DuPont flame paint scheme, which DuPont is now Exalta. Yeah, still, nice looking car for sure. Now, we got one more package left, and I think there's multiple in this one, or maybe one, I'm not sure. But yeah, it comes in this big box here. So we're gonna, I'm not 100% sure which, what it is yet, so let's open it up and find out. And this tape's really reinforced, so we're gonna really have to open her up here. So we got one slice here. Another slice there. Another slice here. We're almost done. Another slice there. So yeah, there we go. There's that. Now, let's open it up. Oh, this is a good one here. This is a big one. Oh, it's only one, but it's a big one. And of course, some um, we have these big cop bags right over here. So, let's pop them up and say rest in peace headphone users. There we go. Break the headphones. Break the Beats. Break those overrated Beats headphones. But yeah. Let me just... Ah, oh, there's how I open the box. Alrighty. Here we go. So of course, um, this was... Um, and of course, oh. Got, our, got our couple of bags in here to pop some more. There we go. And of course, um, the certificate of authenticity right here, right there on the screen, the certificate of authenticity, and it comes in a glass box. So this is the second different diecast I'm gonna have in a glass box. The other being Jimmy Johnson's 2002 Auto Club first career win diecast. Yeah, let me just how the hell do you open this? Ah, there we go. And of course, um, before we continue on, put that bubble wrap to the side. So yeah, here we are. So this, of course, is the 124 scale replica die cast for Jeff Gordon's 2001 NASCAR Cup Championship, and it's it's color chrome, isn't it? Yeah, it is color chrome. Damn. Nice. I like color chrome cars. They actually make it shinier, make them look cooler. So yeah, this is actually a really nice looking car here. So yeah, of course, and it's screwed on here, but I know how to take the screws out, so I'll probably do that there. But yeah, really nice looking car, and it's a championship one. So yeah, this one's going to be staying in this glass case for sure. It won't be coming in the big giant glass display case when it comes in. But yeah, 
Really cool looking car. Really like it. So yeah, I got myself a champion. The second different Henrik Championship diecast. The other being Jimmy Johnson 2009. But yeah, and of course also coming in the future. Of course, we also got the Chase Elliott 2021 coming. Probably in the fall. In like September of, or October. And I got the giant display case for it there. But it's still in the box until it comes in. But yeah, still. Nice looking car. Back in the box it goes. I said get back in the case. Thank you. So yeah. Not bad looking car. So yeah. Pretty good die cast haul here today. But yeah. That's all I got to say for this. Hope everyone has a great day. And yeah. Peace. A NASCAR heavyweight champ out. Another die cast unboxing in the books.